Hello everybody, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to be presenting you information about the one airdrop that is currently live, claiming is, is live until January 29th, and also how to qualify for the anticipated Jupiter airdrop that is on the Solana ecosystem. So let's just get right into it. So when is actually airdropping currently as we speak? Like I said earlier, the claim does end on the 29th and it's actually super ele or a lot of people were eligible for this over I believe a million uh, different wallets 1.08 million and it was super easy to be eligible all you had to do was swap more than five dollars in volume within the past six months on any decks on Solana and you'll receive an equal airdrop of 400 or 643,000 roughly one tokens which right now I believe that equates let's look on coin gecko real quick so the airdrop would at current rates is a free $67 so super easy and all you got to do to claim it is go on this website right here and you just claim and you're good to go and then you could either sell that on the open market or I know on a Camino Camino finance uh, they actually do have a place where you could throw in your one token I believe uh, liquidity actually do or not yeah right here so you could actually throw in the one token if you would if you would like to to generate more points for um, the Camino airdrop which is kind of a good way if you don't really care about the $70 to so just throw in to here so you could collect more rewards or more points sorry into Camino so that's another airdrop that you could be qualifying for just from that airdrop that you just got and Right now, I just want to give you guys information on uh, like why this is even happening. So, like the one token is being distributed by the Jupiter Dex that's on Solana, and basically, this is kind of like a test for their actual Jupiter airdrop that I believe their first season has already uh, like been finalized, but I believe their second season is on and there's a lot of different ways that you could qualify for this airdrop like we have swap we have limit orders you could dca bridge and even perpetuals and easiest way here is you could do a couple swaps so literally just type in like this swap like right here all you got to do swap a couple coins and the main thing you want to do on these dexes is you want to generate volume right so you wanna be generating transactions, generating volume as much as you can usually. Make sure you save some Solana for gas. And here we go. Swap this back, right on. And then you could do limit orders two on here. What I've been doing personally is I've been actually doing perps. The only thing with uh, perpetuals is you kinda of have to be careful of the fees, right? So I'll just show you right here. So let's uh, pay in USDC. Let's just do 100, 100 USD. Uh, let's short it. Is this chart? Let's see what this chart's saying. Yeah, it's printing a bearish candle anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna short it, generate some volume here. As you see, my position size will be $2,500, right? Liquidation price is set at 100, but I will put in a, a stop loss here. So as you can see, on the Solana ecosystem, fees are really, really low, right? It's just how great Solana actually is. The fees are actually like really dirt cheap. As you can see here, I was just able with only $100 to make a $2,500 um, position here. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, you definitely, you definitely want to be careful here because uh, you need to make sure, because you could lose all your deposited funds, right? but we're if it hits the liquidation price but for our stop loss here i'm just gonna throw uh, 90 what is that 97.5 um 97, oh, that's take profit 97.5 okay as you can see here if i do end up if it ends up going to that price i will end up losing about 30 dollars and i think they're yeah five dollar that's five dollar fee is kind of crazy but i do believe that's because the vaults are actually locked right now and the apr is so high or that's just the slippage or the fee of having the leverage 
Uh, let's see, let's put our stop loss in there. So we got that position going. Or what you could do is not even worry about like having a set position or not. You could just keep transacting volume. But what I recommend doing more instead is just doing swaps. So the swaps are really good on uh, Jupiter because the liquidity is actually really high. So you're not really gonna be losing any funds. There's no real price impact on this. And especially if you set like you could put slippage down to 0.3 you know a dex has high liquidity if you could automatically move your slippage below 0.5 percent because a lot of other dexes in crypto actually don't have that so you want to do a couple swaps some limit orders bridge and i believe they are coming up with a point system very soon so you'll be able to track that kind of am getting sick of the point system but it is what it is and if you guys do need to initially bridge funds over in, onto Solana, you could use their native bridge right here. And you could even use the wormhole one, which I did talk about in a previous video that you could qualify for the wormhole airdrop. And it has been, um, wormhole actually has been getting talked a lot about uh, from CC2 actually. He's been shilling, kind of shilling the living shit out of it, but it's kind of funny. And I, I personally don't believe he's wrong. Let's see if uh, I could even find it in the mountain of stuff he posts. Wormhole. Yeah, right here. Perfect. So, let's see. Um, yeah, he was talking about how Layer 0 was ignoring him and Wormhole isn't. And like I said in previous videos, wor or, uh, Layer 0 has roughly around 3.5 million wallets that are possibly eligible, whereas Wormhole only has around 100,000 different wallets that have interacted with the program, or with the protocol, sorry. So I'm, I'm personally very bullish on Wormhole, so is CC2. I tend to listen to this guy because he's like probably the most legit guy on Twitter when it comes to airdrop farming. But that was like a little subsection. That was just the bridge funds over to uh, Solana, and it's right here. So after that, though, uh, you could start doing all your transactions and uh, start start uh, building up some volume, and that's pretty much it. So uh, claim your one airdrop. You could do whatever you want with that. Deposit index, whatever. Sell it, doesn't matter. Or use that to m make volume on Jupiter. You could even do that. So that's all I got for you guys today and have a good one.